Hello, dear friends. Did you know that in just a few weeks, the Wizards of the Coast are going to be coming out with a brand new book called The Monsters of the Multiverse, featuring 250 redesigned monsters along with their stat blocks, abilities. They change up a lot of things. I'm just really excited to see what they've done. And if you are ready to jump ahead and learn about some monsters you can get your hands on right now from Wizards of the Coast and from some great homebrew, then stay tuned here on Fatal. The monster manual that came out with 5th edition has 150 creatures in its bestiary. I know, I always want to call it a bestiary but we can go much further. And in no particular order, let's jump into Volo's Guide to Monsters, which includes over 125 new creatures and their societies, cultures, how they think and work and how they interact with one another, including kobolds, which I did a video on just last week. One friend in particular from this book is the Kobold Inventor. You can choose from a wide variety of very interesting uh, attacks and inventions that this kobold has come up with, including a skunk in a cage or a scorpion on a stick. You or your players might have been very excited about Dungeons and Dragons from Stranger Things in which there was the classic Demogorgon. And you can find a variation of this creature in Mordenkaiden's Tome of Foes. This is a very high challenge rating creature. It can have its own lair. You could build an entire campaign around the Demogorgon. It can inflict madness and insanity among any creatures that is within its sight or its lair potentially. Also worth mentioning is Mordenkaiden's Fiendish Folio, Volume 1, which contains 17 brand new creatures, including a fog giant. Yes, that's right, a fog giant. At will, it can create a fog cloud that it is completely immune to. What a great way to throw your characters for a loop and have them thinking on their feet a little differently. A recent addition is Fizban's Treasury of Dragons, which brings with it over 34 new creatures in its own bestiary, including many different types of dragons and dragonlings and drakes and things like that. But I'm really excited about the Horde Mimic. Do you remember in The Hobbit when Bilbo was going up against Smog in its lair when it was all those piles of gold and he was trying to find the Arkenstone? Ah, uh, this gives me those kinds of vibes. We also have the Explorer's Guide to Wildemount, which brings with it 20 of its own creatures, including the Gloomstalker. If you like the idea of a bat that can teleport to any place that it can see that's unoccupied, or can pick up a player potentially with its grapple, or additionally on top of all those things, could even be used by an enemy as a mount, then look no further than the Gloomstalker, the mythic Odysseys of Theros, which brings with it 50 more creatures, including the two-headed Cerberus, and on top of that, the underworld Cerberus. Depends if you want two heads at a lower challenge rating or three heads at a larger challenge rating. But I think the two-headed one is pretty cool because it can spew molten rock from its mouths. Also, they have advantage against being knocked unconscious. Two heads is better than one. If you're looking to include some gothic horror in your campaign, then consider Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft. One very unusual creature in there is the Body Taker Plant. I really like it because it's all about grappling up players and creatures and trying to absorb them. And it doesn't try to make them not be able to breathe necessarily, like a pseudopod kind of ooze would, but instead it slowly converts them into something a little different. Still wearing their old gear, but changed. Then there is Eberron's Rising from the Last War with 30 more creatures, including one that I think is super interesting and can be applied to any campaign. It gives you generic rules for 
living spells that have creature stat blocks. And they are nice enough to come up with some cool art and examples for living burning hands, lightning, and cloud kill. There are probably a couple more official 5e monsters scattered around out there, but that's probably what? Like, we're almost at a thousand monsters at this point? Oh, but I hear you. You want more. There are some great collections of homebrew out there that expand greatly the number of monsters that you have at your arsenal. The Monster Manual Expanded Trilogy of Books is really, really exciting. The first two, as I understand it, have a lot of stock images. And then the third one is a lot of really custom, incredibly high quality art. So that's super awesome. The first book has 475 new creatures. The second has 390. And then the third has 320 more. That's over a thousand new monsters just in those three homebrew books alone. Cobalt Press, they have three books of their own. Two are already released with a third in the works called The Tome of Beast. Volumes one, two, and three each have 400 new monsters to choose from. An honorable mention that's a Kickstarter happening right now adds six new creatures of dangerous food. You heard that right. Check out the Kickstarter for Tiny Tome of Dangerous Food. And finally, if you don't want to go through all the hassle of getting all those different books, then consider signing up for D&D Beyond and checking out the homebrew section where people are listing their own custom creations all the time. You can filter and sort through the list in order to really dig down and search and find exactly what you're looking for. There's never been a better time in terms of the plethora of creatures out there to throw at your players than right now to get into 5th edition. There's just so much official content and homebrew out there that is really high quality. It's just so much fun. I hope you can find some things that can really inspire your games. And thank you so much for watching. This has been Fatal.